Welcome to a Week 9 Mountain West Conference Showdown as the Wyoming Cowboys travel to Albuquerque to take on the New Mexico Lobos. The Cowboys are 4-2 overall and 1-1 one one in conference play after the Week 7 34-31 loss to the Fresno State Bulldogs. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings through Week 8. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The National Top 25 Rankings Going Into Today's Games The Cowboys' individual stats going into today's game.
the Cowboys recruiting board going into today's game. And now, our Week 9 Mountain West Conference matchup as the 4 and 2 Wyoming Cowboys take on the 2 and 4 New Mexico Lobos in Albuquerque. Welcome everyone to University Stadium, home to the Lobos of the University of New Mexico and the fans here are fired up for this clash. Today we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Wyoming Cowboys taking on the New Mexico Lobos. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Cowboys will kick it away first. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Lobos offense will take the first swing of the game. Here he comes. And obviously, defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback. But boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons. He's got the confidence. He's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him. Because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Full start. Our the officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Now the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Leaves it with the back. Nice move to stay on his feet. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short gain. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quickly complete. They make the stop at the 37, but not before. He's got 10 yards and the first down. The Lobos are on the move. Using his legs at Sanders. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The negative play leaves him with second and 12. He'll try to pop the draw. Spins away from the defender. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. And the Lobos come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Dorsey. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Eighth play of the drive coming up. Running back searching for a hole. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Ninth play of the opening drive coming up, but now they face a third down. Back to throw, it's Lincoln. Keeps looking downfield. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And he'll need to curl this one in from 44 yards out on the right hash. Good right down the boulevard. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. And he knocks another one through. And how about this kicker? Good way to start off your season, right? Like, what do you have at the spot? Sometimes you don't know. Can he make those kicks? Starting off, hasn't missed one yet. Been very dependable for this squad. 
So they are lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Cowboys offense will go to work for the first time. This one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. The offense set for a first down play. Looking to move it through the air. Trying to get to it. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. This offense has a second down play. From the gun, give on the inside. End of the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. There's such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Quarterbacks generally, guys, we know, they're not as big and not as physical runners as running backs. So it is going to be trickier for them to break tackles. I like the idea of getting the design quarterback run game going. But moving forward, let's see if we can get him out to the perimeter. The give to the back. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. Looking to the big tight end. Working that left side. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Yeah, and obviously great play by the offense to keep the drive alive and also a good find by the quarterback on third down. The Cowboys are flying down the field. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On the move. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? He's looking to throw. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, you know what they say, tips lead to picks. And the offense, they're lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves them with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the catch. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Third down, the, the focus of the defense has to shift. It has to change. We have to understand now exactly where the sticks are. We can't give up those plays for them to get beyond the sticks and get those first downs. And the Cowboys will snap it on first and 10. The inside handoff. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And a nice job by the offense picking up the blitz, understanding that extra guy was coming, and creating just a little bit of a hole for that running back to slither through and get some positive yards. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Wyoming! Precision blocking up front created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully. 
Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So it's an 80-yard drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Let's see what the Lobos offense has in store. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. First down here for the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Now on second down. Looking for a man. It's Lincoln. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more. Really good execution by this offense. He'll keep it himself. Got the first down and still on his feet. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Now it's first and 10 from the 46-yard line. They'll toss it to the left. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Pulls and throws off the RPO. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. On the run, it's Sanders. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. The Lobos will send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Good job by the coverage team, and that's how we'll end the period. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Hand off to the single back. They get him stopped after a gain of four out to the 28. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Just feeds the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That play had zero shot. They got to do a better job up front, creating some running lanes. The running back, before he could go anywhere, getting tackled, nowhere to go. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. To the air, it's Svoboda. 
And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. The Cowboys line up to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Oh, he gave him the limp leg. He was hoping for a little more the 45. We will get another look at this New Mexico offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. They're facing a third down. They go to the draw. Keeps the legs moving. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Lobos will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And they can't get on them out to the 20. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. On the ground, it's Scott. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. Getting some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Well, quarterback went down behind center pretty quick that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch point? Not a lot of productivity on that last play. They'll try it again on second and long from the 23. He's looking to throw. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Didn't get a chance to show off those running skills, but he gives him the ball at the 29-yard line. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Now New Mexico will go back to work on offense. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. Like the passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. The offense lining up for a first down play. From the gun, looking for a man. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Second and ten here. From the gun, running back gets the gift. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Quarterback moving out of the pocket and couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. 
we check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of those top 15 teams who did battle today. Clemson made it look easy, but I promise you, there is nothing easy about a double-digit win on the road. And a win like this only confirms there is something special brewing with these Tigers. Iron sharpens iron, and you just know a top 15 matchup like this is going to go a long way in telling the story of each. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. <laughs> Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. They're going to ride this running back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Back to pass. It's Svoboda coming after him. And he can't escape, and down he goes. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. On third down, going up top. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. And the Cowboys will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Perhaps feeling that coverage and makes it at the 25. Let's see what the Lobos offense has dialed up this time. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, Dave. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And they didn't have to blitz. They brought in the dime package, more speed on the field so we can cover in the back end, and then let the D-line do what great D-line do. The Lobos decide to punt it away. Timeout is called by the receiving team. Not sure what that one's about. The punt team makes its way onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Hand goes into the air for the pick. And now on second down for this offense. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. Got his man in the middle. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. They didn't get a whole lot of yardage there, but the big fullback slammed his way and got what he could. Hey, listen, that's what you're supposed to do. Catch the football. I'm not expecting that guy to catch the ball and make big plays after he catches it. But catch it. Give me some positive yards. Mission accomplished. And that last completion left them short of the sticks. It's third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Works the middle. Working their way closer and closer. A third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense. Next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. Wants to throw on first down. It's complete on the right side. 
And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. I like the slot receiver because he gives his quarterback a good option working the middle of the field. He's a nice weapon in this offense. The give to the tailback. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. And stick him to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. He's looking to throw on third and short. He looks that one in nicely. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. To throw, it's Svoboda. Got it! And he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the two. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Power ahead. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cowboys! Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Ready to try the point after. And the PAT makes it 14-6. That drive covered 57 yards for the touchdown and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. From inside the 15, chance for a good return. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. On the run, it's Sanders. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. The give to the back. And after that short game, they'll head to the locker room. It's halftime here. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, looks like you've got a great atmosphere today in Albuquerque. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. Now, let's send it back to the guys at University Stadium. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Not a lot of space to be...
coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They go to work in the third quarter with the lead, but they have had a little trouble keeping their quarterback upright. Yeah, and you, you have the lead, you're positive, but the offensive line coach is definitely going to be upset. And the offensive coordinator, listen, I don't want my guy getting touched. He's being productive, but give him some more time here in the second half. I think you can do that, too, offensively, by maybe leaving your tight end in to help block, maybe chipping with running backs to help these tackles out on the edge, because you're right, that pocket has been shaky, and if it continues to be that way in the second half, this could be a much different looking football. Finds his man. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. The Cowboys are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. This is one of the top 10 offenses in the nation in getting first downs. To do that, you got to have bounce. You can't always throw for it on third down. You've got to be able to run it as well. And they've got a dude in the backfield who just knows how to move the chains. On the move, it's Scott. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. This defense is in for a long day because they're not going to have to only play with great awareness and eye discipline. They're going to have to be willing to run sideline to sideline and have to try to shut down receivers like that on jet sweeps. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. After the run, 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 now to throw. It's complete to the right. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And the wide receivers have to understand what part of the field they're on. I got to make sure I have enough space when I run those out routes that when I break, I can catch the football and try to get upfield, get a few more yards. He runs out of space, but he got the catch and got some positive yards. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. And the Cowboys will line it up on first and ten. The give to the lone running back. Shows him the stiff arm. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy on the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yardage situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. And now on third down after that last run. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Fires to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. It's first down from the 11. They'll leave it with him. He breaks a tackle. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, he was trying to do it all by himself. At the end of the day, it's a tackle for uh, I mean, the number of tackles he broke at some point, somebody's got to get blocked to help the guy out a little bit. Man, the defense was like a bunch of zombies on that last play. They just would not stop chasing that ball carry. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Wyoming! 
They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. Timely decisions, effective play management helps them get in the end zone after that marathon drive. And every time the offense needed to play, boom, they got it. I mean, you think about it. Whether it was a small run, small pass, whatever they needed, they got it done, and they popped it in for the score. T unit on the field. And with the extra point, they move on top by 15. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Bowling Green has been able to call its shots offensively. As impressive a performance as I've seen from this group in some time. They're up by 18 over Buffalo. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They'll try it over the left side. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag on the field. Hold it. Hold it. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. On second down, they'll take to the air. Quick completion on the out. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Might be looking to run. Gets down with the slide. And the Lobos will try to pin them back with the punt. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. On the return, it's Merritt. He's brought down, but a really... Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Looking to throw at Svoboda. Throwing right. He's got it. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Well, the offense able to pick up some extra yards after that curl throw there. And because the QB got it to his guy early, he was able to turn around, make a guy miss, and go pick up some yak. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. On the ground, it's Scott. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Got his man on the right. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. Made a little something out of that run. He picked up a couple down to the 14. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Wants to throw on second down. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield get him the football, letting them get some positive yards. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. From the gun on third down. He's got it and still on his feet. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. 
And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. A relatively short field goal try from 26 yards out. Splits the uprights, it's good. And that will extend their lead even further. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Let's see what the Lobos offense has in store. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. Unloads it downfield. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity. First snap of this drive comes from their own 41. They'll go to the ground. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Looking to pass. It's Svoboda. Makes his connection. Stopped at the 47-yard line. A 10-yard gain, and they'll move the markers. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. And he's brought down, but the defender got a face full of stiff arm before he picked up that first down. Fresh legs, man, and it is showing, of course. This team had the bye last week, and you're seeing it right now late in the game, running the football, imposing their will against the defense that looks tired. Of course, they had to play last week, and, and you're seeing that right now. On the option, it's Svoboda. And he probably should have left that one with the back as he is just smashed in the backfield. The whole point of running the quarterback on these designed runs is to get an extra blocker. You should be getting more movement up front, but that time, guys were getting knocked backwards, and as a result, they actually lost a year. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11.
He's looking to throw. Feeling some heat. Just can't pull the trigger, and the quarterback is sacked at the 41. I think if you're the quarterback moving forward, you need to start thinking about hot routes to your tight ends and to your running backs because of this outside linebacker. He's a guy that has shown the knack to get after the QB. When he comes blitzing, you need to have an outlet throw in your back pocket. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Just gets rid of it before the heat. Has no choice but to throw it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, this quarterback's already taken a couple shots from the pocket. There's another one right there that affected his accuracy on that throw. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt hit for the touchback. We will get another look at this New Mexico offense. Boy, three and out last time, Davey. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. The defense coming up big there, and the sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few and you feel comfortable getting home and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and that's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. To the air. It's Lincoln. That throw might have been a little too hot. He couldn't haul it in inbounds. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. The Lobos will call on their punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Fair catch. Wyoming has the football back and here comes the offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Nothing to do with the football, and he just throws it away. It'll be third down. Yeah, and sometimes you got to know when to give it up, right? As a quarterback, you feel it. You can't hold it that second too long when bad things can really happen. And you could tell the clock went off, and he was throwing that puppy away. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Stands in and takes the hit. And he's got it inside the 10. Touchdown, Wyoming. And the pummeling has started. That one puts them in really good shape to get back on the right track and get another W. The assault enter wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and give me another touchdown. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Wisconsin has just had no answers today, and I'm not sure you can put J.J. Watt back out there inside Camp Randall and expect a different outcome. They're trailing by 21 to Iowa. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Dropping back, it's Lincoln. Oh, so close to paying off the tip. Really had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. 
Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. Makes a move. That nifty return sets up. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. The give is to Williams. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. And how good does that feel, right? You've got the lead in the fourth quarter. The defense knows you're going to try to run the ball to ice the game, and you rip off an eight-yard run. They know it's coming, and they still can't stop it. They go to the ground. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. It's first and 10 from the 31. Give to the single back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And you want to dominate the football game like these guys have all day. Dominate the line of scrimmage. You know, turn and hand the ball off to your running back. It's a good recipe. It makes every quarterback better. It makes every OC better. Just turn, hand the football off, especially when you're winning the ball game. To the ground. He's got it again. Quick step and go. Touchdown, Cowboys. And the stomping has commenced. They push out that lead a bit and draw much closer to a win here in Week 9. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Now New Mexico will go back to work on offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. Makes the grab down the middle. And he's ridden to the ground, but there's also a flag down. Let's check the call. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Dropping back, it's Lincoln. Finds his back in the middle. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got his man. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Going to take a shot at this DB. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. On second down, he'll fire. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. He'll just keep slinging it. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. This time he's got it. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. 
He's going to pass. And he just threw that one away. Safe move, didn't see anything, lived to play another play. After the incompletion, they're facing a second and 10 from the 25. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Leaves it with the running back. Running with power. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Single back formation, and they give it to him. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Scanning the field, it's Lincoln. Going for six. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. There is no point in a field goal here, so the offense stays on the field on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's swatted away. Taking chances, a lot of times, it's going to put your defense in a hole. And this defense is going to have to come through in the clutch right here because you're trailing. They can't get more scores. They got to get a stop on this possession, and the offense is going to have to do better than they just did. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Finds a crease at the 20. And he'll be tackled, but there is a flag on the field. Hold, 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 hold. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Here comes the offense on second down. Power football with the run. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. To the air, it's Rush. Fires to the middle. He makes a catch. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with a first down. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now, you got to figure out what they're doing. To the ground with the back. Hard running there. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. 
and he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive coordinator. Like, when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've, had a, they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be really fun to watch it. Not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays from this offense. This is what you're looking for when you have the better team. Go out and show it. Don't fool around with them. Go out and play to a standard of excellence. Just dominate. You know you're going to take care of business. You know you're going to win. It's, almost, it's like how many? How many can I win by? And I like that you keep your foot on the gas and just continue to pile it on. It's their job to stop you. Let them do their job. You just keep going on. It's not about the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. This is why recruiting is so important in college football. They just had better players. More physical. They were faster, and it showed today. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
Cowboy suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 10 Mountain West Conference matchup is a rivalry game as the Colorado State Rams come into Laramie to take on the Cowboys in the Border War, the battle for the bronze boot.